All right, we're back. Clarence Haynes here in the Bible Study Club. So far, we have looked at two pieces of this growth wheel. The first one being Revelation, and we said when Revelation happens, that leads you into worship. Now, here's something that happens or when you worship. And when you worship, a few things happen. Number one, God gets bigger in your eyes. Jesus gets bigger in your eyes. You get more filled with God's spirit as, his, as you enter into his presence and your joy grows and your faith grows. You see, all of this happens as a result of worship. And so the next piece of this, of this wheel that I want to introduce to you and, and, and understand how it flows, think about it. So you get revelation of who God is that leads you into worship. Now your faith is growing, your picture of who God is is growing. And now guess what happens? that leads you into prayer. You see, it is easier to pray once you have a bigger perception of who God is. Because God gets bigger, your problems get smaller. Your faith grows, now you can begin believing God for things that maybe before you worshiped, you weren't able to do that. And so understand the process. So it's revelation, God revealing who he is, that leads you into worship, and that builds your faith so now can pray with authority and with power and with conviction and with belief because you're trusting in a God that is bigger than any situation you could ever go through. So I hope you understand here, right? As this is this growth wheel in action, revelation, worship, prayer. So now we're three steps down, there's only two more to go. Uh, again, I'm Clarence Haynes. We'll see you next time in the Bible Study Club.